Hi everyone, I'm Tegan. Welcome to today's Science Club. I'm coordinator from Thomastown and Whittlesea Library. So let's talk about what today's project is. Today we're making a DIY kaleidoscope. So we're probably familiar with most kaleidoscopes looking like this. If we know how a kaleidoscope works is that it actually has three panels of mirror inside of it that reflects it bounces the images off created a mirror tile effect an optical illusion which then by the time it travels up to here it becomes very tiled and so what we see instead of one image we then see multiple images multiple reflections of that image so we're going to make one from home Obviously not quite as fancy as this because we're using all household objects that we can find at home. But if you wanted to make something similar to this, you can find these kits on home. This one um, was brought over the internet. And you can also pretty much tailor the one that we're going to make today. This is just a little jar and it's made with beads that are found at home and it's got a little bit of olive oil. Um, this cap here comes on and off, so you can kind of change it up every time you want, put new oil in. Um, obviously, the tape has fallen off here, so you can just, you know, retape it back on. Inside, I'll get a bit closer for you guys. Hang on, I'll get closer to the mirror. So you can see how, how everything looks a bit. You can see everything, the mirror looks like it's a couple of different shapes. Like that, but it's actually only three pieces of mirrored glass in there. If I pull it out, we can see it's a triangle and three pieces of mirror. And that's it, and it's a sponge. But it's the angle of the mirror that causes it. And the fact that they're all the same kind of size. Alright, so let's get making today, guys. What we need is, we need a tube. Cardboard tube, this will work. This is going to be our cylinder shape, so like this, cardboard tube. We need three pieces of card. So these are our three pieces of card. One, one, two, and three. And what we're going to do to make that shape that we have here, that that mirrored shape here, what we're going to do is we're actually going to glue that onto some alfoil. We want to glue it onto, see how alfoil has two sides? It's got a matte side and it's got a shiny side. We want the shiny side to be inside our inside of our tube, inside of our kaleidoscope, so that way it reflects the image, so that way it bounces the image around, so that way we can see the multiple different images. So that means we need to glue onto the matte side. So guys, get our three pieces of, of stuff. If your glue sticks a bit gross like mine, it doesn't matter, it's all good. With your alpha, it's better to go a bit bigger than the space. You don't want it to be too small. It's okay, it can bend over. We can always fold it over. So we glue it down. Make sure you've got a bit of space around. Don't glue it too close to the edge because then it's going to make it a little bit harder to cut. We don't want this alfoil, we don't want it splitting, we don't want it ripping because then it's going to lose that surface that we're after. We're after a smooth surface, we're after a surface that will be almost mirror-like. And when we glue down our pieces, we want to glue it as close to possible to... it. So I probably should have explained also but it'll be in the handout with you guys as well that the pieces of card need to be 
the length of your tube. So we've got three pieces here. Sorry. As you will see, should have explained this a little bit better for you guys. They are the length of my tube. The diameter, they're pretty much, and also I'll bring it up a bit higher again, they're pretty much the same as the diameter as well. Try to get as close as possible. Each, I haven't set a set width for everyone because it really depends on the type of tube you have at home. Um, it's all going to be different because of home to home, but ideally you want to get a triangle that fits as snug as possible into that shape because you don't want it to bounce around as much. But if it does, we'll just secure it with some tape so it's okay if it does move around a bit. We'll just sticky tape it down so it's nice and secure. It's okay. I've done this a few times. So it's okay. It's all good. <laughs> so once they're all in, we've got them nice and flush along the top. Now we can cut away the excess alpha by cut away along the, the excess bits. So I'm cutting along here. I no longer need this bit. But what I'm going to do, I've just made it a little bit smaller. It's a little bit easier for me to handle. I'm just going to fold everything in now. This is going to help give it all a little bit more support. It's going to make it a little bit stronger because aluminium foil is a bit of, well, it's very thin metal like. So it's really good. It's a great substance to play around with. You can make lots of different stuff with it. So that's going to be really helpful. So we now have our three pieces. So this is our mirrored piece. So this is the, that's going to be the mirrored piece in here. So what we can do now is we can very gently start to maneuver it into a triangle shape by folding it in so it folds like that. So can you guys see that? Hang on, sorry, I think I folded that wrong. Here we go. There we go. We want the smooth side in. I was looking at that. I thought that looks really weird. <laughs> it's been a while. Okay. Smooth side inside. Okay. There we go. Hang on. I'll get the camera. There we go. If we can see that. There we go. See how smooth that is on the inside now? Yeah. It's as close as you can get to like not paying for mirrored glass. <laughs> All right. To hold it together, get some sticky tape or some masking tape, whatever kind of tape you guys have at home. In my instance, I've got some kind of like metallic-y kind of tape thing here that I'm going to be using for decorating my kaleidoscope later on. So I'm just going to try to find the edging on this here. This I got from the Recycle Resource Center down in Bayswater really cool our library service uses it a lot for our craft supplies um, it's a great resource there we use it for a lot of our stuff all right cool so run some sticky tape along the top there that will help secure it in place so that way it doesn't collapse on you and that is giving you your solid prism for your inside to help reflect everything. So now that should be able to slide into it. Let's try it, stick it in there. Fingers crossed. I did measure this all out beforehand. All right, there we go. All right, cool. Excellent. So we've got the middle bit sorted for our thing. Now we have to do the eye part. So as you can see the professional model has something like really nice like this. It's like all cut in and it's all nicely pressed. I kind of don't really have the technical stuff like that at home at the moment. I've created this. 
if you can see that. It's like a circle template. What I've created is these little wings on the circle template, plus this eye peeping hole. You might have to adapt that, like it might be a little bit small to look out of. These wings will help you just stick it on the edge, and then you can run some sticky tape around the whole outside of it. It just like little tabs, they just help. Like anything to make it help. So how you create this little thing, get some black cardboard, get your tube, put your tube down, grab a pencil or something that's going to be easy for you to do a circle around. Draw a circle around it, so I'm going to do it up high for you guys so you can see it. So draw your circle around, so you got your shape. This probably wasn't the greatest idea to it from the height because I can't see what I'm doing. So let me just do it quickly, fast from below. All right, got my circle. That's my diameter of my tube. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create these little. I'm going to just draw the tags on. Draw some tags on. Don't stress where they're located. They're purely just. For, and remember, we're going to cover this up at the end with decoration, make it look pretty. It's purely just to secure it on there, just to help secure it on there. Um, it's just a way just to secure it on there. So I've just drawn four tags on there. That's all. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut it. When I cut it out, I'm not cutting directly on that line either. I'm going to give myself a little bit of space. So, because in case this is, in case I've made a mistake when I've cut it, when I've drawn it, and I've drawn it a little bit too small, I'm going to cut a little bit outside of this line, just to make it, it's okay if I cut it a bit bigger, because I can fold that over the outside of the kaleidoscope as well. It's all good. So, let's cut this bad boy out, see how we go with it. So we'll cut around it, give us some extra space that way. And just remember guys, if we don't get it done right the first time, it's no big deal. We can just cut it again. We can try it again, do it multiple times. So I'm giving myself plenty of room around it. Giving it And the next step after we do this, this next step is a little bit tricky. So we're going to need some parents' help with this next step. Because the next step is about the ice. So, so you can see here, I've got an outline and I haven't cut directly to line. This is going to give me a bit more space. I'm going to check against everything. So when we press it up, we can see black all around. It's giving us some good space. Yeah covers it completely. It's exactly what we want. We don't want any gaps. So if I'm looking down this side, completely black now. It's exactly what it is. We don't want any light coming through. Alright, so remember my demo. I've got a little hole here. This is the peephole. So I need some parent, you're probably going to need some parent help with this part now because we're going to need to put a little hole here. Some people, a hole punch would be great, but in my case, I don't have hole punch, so I'm going to have to use a little bit of scissors, but a really good handy trick is actually just using a grey lead pencil, but get a, pen, get a parent to help with this one. So you're just going to use some scissors, put together, not separated out, very gently, just back and forth, back and forth, slowly, 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 just until you feel that the paper is starting to give way. So it's started to give way. We can see that it's come through. We haven't gone crazy and gone really fast. We've done it very, very slowly. But you guys have probably got your parents to do this one already, which is good. Parents have already done this part, so we're all fine. We're going to make this hole a little bit bigger so we can see out of it. And eventually we're going to get a pencil 
through it to make it a lot bigger so that way it's easier for us to see out of. So once I've got the hole through, ideally we want to make it as close to the middle as possible. And so check it, make sure it's in the middle of your of your prism. When it is in the middle of your prism, sorry guys, you should be able to see I'm moving that around a little bit, it's really hard to see. When it's in the middle of your prism, now you can start to tape it up. Get some sticky tape, and that's where these little tag things help. So, get some sticky tape happening. Get a tag. So, check it. Make sure it's in the right... It's in the middle of your prism. Put your sticky tape tag down. Sticky tape it down. So, you've done the one side. Now, do your other side. You do the other side. Next tape. So, and then we're going to just work our way around the whole thing. So, now you can get bigger pieces if you want. Once you've got both sides going, kind of get bigger pieces and just kind of do everything. And what you want is you just want to make sure that no light gets in there. That's all like snug as a bug. All nice and easy. So I think I need another piece here just because it doesn't look like it's quite right. Alright, cool. Alright, that, I'm really happy with how that looks now. So, it's pretty good. I can see quite well. I've got a really good prism there. That's really good. It's nice and clean. I'm looking from the other side. Yep, I can see well down there. Alright. That is the hardest part done, guys, now. Now we're on to the fun parts. So, I've given you guys three different types to create the actual kaleidoscopy part. So, remember how I talked about this part? Well, it's going to be hard for us to access this kind of stuff because you could do something like that, like turn this into like a jar with beads and then constantly change it over. That's a really good way to be able to turn this into a recyclable craft and be able to constantly reuse it, um, change it in different manners, try different things at home, like use different kinds of things like shells and leaves and try different, see what different patterns you could use. But if you don't have that kind of stuff, here's some different things as well at home you can try to create. An option is to use drawing materials so stuff like baking paper and you can use crayons. The aim of the game with this part is that you want to make sure that whatever you're sticking on the end here is as translucent as possible because you need the light to come through. So you need the light to come through for the sun to be able to go through it so that way you can see the patterns and it works really cool. And what you could do, instead of completely sticking it down, you could decorate your whole body. So make this look all beautiful, finish that off completely, and actually just use rubber bands. So completely keep drawing all your patterns, do all your illustrations and everything in different drawings on here. Rubber band it up, look at your patterns, look at the drawings, see what kind of patterns you get through your kaleidoscope from it. Then you can reuse it in a different manner and create new patterns again and again. That's a really cool option. Another option is, is using contact. So anyone who has any spare contact at home or sticky tape is another great option. 
this is a cool option. So again, this is stuff that we got from the Recycle Resource Center. So it isn't objects that we actually went out and purchased ourselves with the library. It's all things that we have sourced that were repurposed. And you could do it through finding things at home like plastics that are in your house that are translucent that could be repurposed into this kind of craft. So what kind of plastics, like have you got really old garbage bags, um, plastic bags that are cool that could be used in this kind of format? So remember we only need a little surface. So something like using plastic bags and you could use that to get a stained glass window effect on the back of your kaleidoscope and that would set off amazing colors and patterns inside using and that is just using some cellophane paper um, like plastic cellophane papers um, using a couple of different colors that's some red orange and and yellow I think it was red purple and yellow sorry guys a little bit colorblind there and that's on some that's onto contact or sticky tape you could do sticky tape as well and again likewise if you can make it into colored discs and just constantly re put them back in um, to reuse them using um, rubber bands so it could be reused instead of just constantly throwing them out after a single use um, the last option if you didn't have cellophane like that or plastics that could be used is using tissue paper so again using a sticky tape or a sticky based surface this is the last one that I'll show you guys for doing the crafty nice decorating side for your slides um, using surfaces like tissue paper the aim of the game is you just want to make whatever you're using to, for the sun to come through it has to be transparent um, using stuff like textures isn't going to work um, pencils will work if it's light enough um, just don't use yeah heavy materials so and just keeping it you only need small amounts because we're only looking for a small surface so so yeah just keeping it small so here this is with our tissue paper stick that on there so we've just stuck on some tissue paper now for it so okay so that's tissue paper now so we'll see how that goes and again we've got a different kind of texture so that is giving us three different ideas on creating the images for our kaleidoscope obviously guys I'm gonna leave you guys with the decoration side because that is the world is your oyster with that you can decorate it however you want um, use as much glitter or eco glitter as you like um, textures coloring pencils anything you want with it um, and enjoy have a fantastic day, everyone, and we'll see you next time at Science Club. <laughs> Bye.